Hey, it's Dr. Nissi from EasyDOTPhysicals.com, back again with another video. This one, we are answering the question, is the weed hangover a, an actual thing? Is it fact or is it a myth? We're gonna try to answer that question. Now, we all know that if we drink too much alcohol, we potentially can get a hangover. You get the headaches, you get the nausea, maybe it comes along with some regret. But what about weed? What about using cannabis? Can you get a hangover the next day by using too much cannabis? So you go out, you don't drink, you abstain from drinking, but you use cannabis, you smoke a little bit. You don't party too hard, but the next day you wake up and you feel groggy, not rested, foggy headed. So is this real or is this just in your head? So in this video, I am going to break down the science of what is now being called the weed hangover, and I'm gonna give you five things that you can do to help lessen these morning after effects. All right, so let's just start with the basics. Unlike alcohol, cannabis does not cause massive dehydration or direct liver damage, but THC does impact the endocannabinoid system, and that system helps to control and regulate sleep, mood, appetite, and even memory to some degree. So while you might fall asleep faster after using weed, just like people do potentially while using alcohol, research shows that REM sleep, and that's the sleep where you actually dream and recover, that's where the recovery actually happens in the REM cycle, that can actually be reduced. So less REM sleep equals a poorer sleep quality. So after one of these nights, you might wake up and still feel tired, like you didn't get a good night's sleep, foggy, maybe even a little bit irritable. And it's not necessarily because you overdid it that, night, that last night, like potentially with alcohol, but it's because your brain didn't get the full recharge that it needed. And certainly there can be other negative effects as well. Some people report things like headaches, dry eyes, sluggishness, or just a general low motivation. They don't wanna do anything the next day. So sounds pretty similar to an alcohol hangover, at least to me. And these effects are especially true with high THC edible use or heavy nighttime use. So it's not just a coincidence that you feel this way, it's actually a biological response. And if you're combining THC use with alcohol use or with poor hydration, this low quality sleep can even become more exacerbated. So that weed hangover feeling becomes way more intense. All right, but here's where it gets tricky. There's still limited clinical research on this because cannabis is still a schedule one substance and it's very difficult to get research funding for cannabis related research studies. Most studies are small, they're outdated, or they focus on synthetic cannabinoids, unfortunately. So right now, most of what we know comes from user reports, and those can vary a lot, and some people say they complete, feel completely fine the next day. They can use as much as they want, they wake up, no problem at all, and others say they just feel off the entire next day. All right, so what's the solution? What can you actually do to help mitigate these responses, these negative effects the day after you use? So I've got five of them. So if you're using cannabis regularly and waking up foggy, try these things. Number one is track your dosage. And this is especially true if you're using high potency edibles. And then try to find a balance between using enough so that you enjoy yourself and still feeling refreshed when you wake up the next morning. And that may take some trial and error. All right, and number two is if you can, try not to both use alcohol and cannabis together, or at least minimize your alcohol use if you are using cannabis. This combination just seems to hit people harder than they think. It exacerbates these after effects. Now, the fortunate thing is that research has shown that people that use cannabis before drinking, they actually just naturally drink less. And I have recently just done a full video on that, so feel free to check that video out as well. Number three, and this seems obvious, but if you're in the middle of partying, it can slip your mind, stay hydrated. And this is especially true right before bed. So this does not mean 
chugging huge amounts of water right before bed because obviously that can wake you up multiple times at night, but water helps keep your metabolism running correctly and it can and helps you continue to effectively break down the THC that you use. So just regular hydration throughout the night go, does wonders for these after effects. Number four here, this one might be difficult for some people to hear, but take tolerance breaks. Your receptors need time to recover as well. So this is maybe not what everybody wants to hear, but a few days of abstinence, meaning not using at all, can really reset your body's ability to process THC. Unfortunately, for this point, research has shown that cannabis users are also much more likely to be daily users than people who drink alcohol. And again, I've done a full video on this. And number five is test yourself. You can do this from home. And this is especially true if you're preparing for a official drug screen. And I know I preach this relentlessly, but this is a cheap and a convenient way to know exactly how much THC is in your system. And this is, this is essential if you are prepping for an official test, but it may also be helpful for those wanting to reset their systems as mentioned above. So if you wanna make sure that everything is cleaned out of your system, taking that tolerance break, testing yourself is a very good idea. Final thoughts here, just because things are legal in your state does not mean that they are consequence free, especially if your job drug tests and especially drug tests for THC. So remember to home test. I will leave links to my preferred home drug test in the description box below as well as our free masterclass taught by me that shows you exactly how you can be best prepared to pass an upcoming THC test. Both of those links in the description box below. Thank you to all the subscribers and the members of this channel. Make sure you stay subscribed here, like this video so YouTube shows it to more people. Until next time, everybody, stay safe.